Hello friends, today we are going to start with some uh, with a new chapter, some basic concepts of chemistry. This is the first chapter of class 11 NCRT days. So, today we will learn about the concepts of chemistry, basic concepts of chemistry. What is chemistry in actual life? Friends, we are all, we all are dealing with the chemistry in our day to day, in our day to day life. Uh, we are surrounded by all the materials which are made of the chemistry exactly. For example, the work which has been done in the kitchen, the soaps which we are using in our day to day life, those are all are the products which are made from the chemistry itself. So, let's begin. What is chemistry? Chemistry is the science of atoms, molecules, and their transformations. Secondly, chemistry is the branch of science that studies the composition, properties, and interaction of the matter. For example, we are having some compound and we want to know about its compositions. We'll uh, know about it, how much amount of the compound is present in that particular mixture. We'll know about its properties also. And we'll know about its interaction with the matter. See, when we are doing some reactions, so we uh, found about the properties and the interactions of, this, of that compound. Secondly, why to study chemistry? You might all be thinking, why should we study chemistry? It's so boring. But see, chemistry is a very interesting topic. So, why to study chemistry? See, the I mean, dynamics which we wear in our ears, the coal which we use in our kitchen for um, uh, cooking purposes, the plastics which we are using in our day to day lives, the soaps, polymers which, are, uh, which we are using, for example, toys, manufacturing of wines and beers. First of all, let's come to the coal and dynamics. See, diamond is made of carbon. So, to study the properties of diamond, we will study about the properties of the carbon also, its uh, uh, compositions, its isotopes. So, basically, to study diamond, to know about diamond, to know about diamond we will know about the carbon in its property. Secondly, coal. How it burns, how much energy it gives when it burns. So, this is a uh, we will deal with the coal about its properties, about its combustible nature, when we will learn about some basic concepts of the chemistry. Third source, which we are using in our day to day life, polymers, toys, manufacturing of wines and beers to include the chemistry. So this is all about why to study chemistry. Now, let's count. Can we? The question arises, can we? Can we count the number of atoms in the molecules in a mass of a matter? Can you do it by physical processes? Can you count in your fingertips? No, you can't. Can you see the atoms and molecules by our naked eyes? No, you can't. So, this is, this is what we are going to study in our further proceedings. So, now come to the advantages of this. Uh, advantages. Why to study chemistry? Why was, uh, what are the advantages uh, if we are studying the chemistry? So basically, if uh, if we are studying chemistry, so while studying slowly and gradually, we will know about its chemical properties of some basic compounds. So after knowing and understanding the chemical properties, it has now been possible to design and synthesize the new materials which are having specific properties, for example, magnetic properties, electrical properties, and optical properties of that compound. Secondly, safer alternatives have also been developed by the help of the chemistry which they are helpful to us in uh, for the ozone depletion. Safer alternatives to environmental hazardous refrigerants, refrigerants like CFC. CFC is known as chlorofluorocarbons which is found in the refrigerator of our refrigerators, for example, fridges and all. Which are responsible. These chlorofluorocarbons are only responsible for ozone depletions. So, uh, chemistry by again with the help of the chemistry research, by the help of the research which we are doing nowadays, we have generated some of the alternatives so that uh, we can reduce this ozone depletions in the cause of that ozone depletion. Coming to the next point, some problems which still exist. For example, management of the greenhouse gases like methane and CO2. While uh, we are making a uh, great research in the field of this um, greenhouse gases, but still the problems still exist in the management of these gases. So research is going on will be coming uh, overcome those these problems and will manage them. So the this is all about the, what is chemistry is all about. So what is chemistry? Why is we chemistry? Can we count the number of atoms and molecules? What are the advantages? This is whole which I have included in this lecture. Thank you so very much.